Stirring up and being used in your spiritual gifts. Stirring up and being used in your spiritual gifts. This is September 28th, 08, Sunday morning. God bless you. God bless you. Because God certainly blesses me. Hallelujah. Amen. I look around and I, I get so excited, glory be to God, of what is happening. What is happening? Well, lives are being transformed. Lives are being changed. Amen. Amen. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new for those that really want it. They have not become new for those that are just looking for a bed or a handout. But they've become new for those that are searching for the truth. Amen? Amen. And what is the truth? And that what Pilate said one day? What is the truth? Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Amen? Amen. No man cometh unto the Father except through me. Hallelujah. God still gives to his church today the supernatural gifts of the Holy Spirit. This message this morning, outline will share some biblical keys to your being used by God and in, in these spiritual gifts. Amen. Amen. You wanna be used by God? And we we all do, praise God. Some are just satisfied to just be saved, born again, amen. Some are just satisfied to, to sit on the pew until next Wednesday or next Sunday and go from there. But we should be hungry for the Word of God. We should want more and more of the Word of God. Amen? Amen. And that's why we uh, read the Bible every day. That's why that you read Daniel this morning. Praise God. Amen? Amen? And I hope you comprehended it and understood it. Hallelujah. That's why we pray, praise God, every morning. That's why we have a prayer walk. That's why we have a prayer in the morning. To get closer to God. Amen? What are the gifts? Well, we talked about them a lot, but I, I don't think people are understanding, comprehending what these gifts are. What are the gifts of the Holy Spirit? If you look at 1 Corinthians chapter 12, beginning in verse 4, 1 Corinthians 12, verse 4, there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are differences of ministry, but the same Lord. There are diversities of activities, but it's the same God who works all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. These are the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the gifts of God. Hallelujah. For one is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit. To another, the word of knowledge. To another, through the same Spirit, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing by the same Spirit. To another, working a miracle. To another, prophecy. To another, discerning of Spirit. To another, different kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. But one and the same Spirit works all these things distributed to each one individually as He will. As who will? As God will. It's a capital A if you look at that. He means God Almighty. Amen? Amen. Not a little H. When you put a little G, that means the God of this world. But when you put a big G, it means the God of heaven. Hallelujah. First Peter 4, 10. Each one should use whatever gift, praise God, he has received. Amen? To serve others. Isn't that what the gifts are about? To serve others. I think the greatest gift, glory be to God, that Jesus spoke about was Matthew 25, 35. When I was hungry, did, did you really feed me? When I was naked, did you clothe me? When I was a stranger, did you take me in? When I was in prison, did you visit me? When I was in the hospital, did you come unto me? And the people said, who did we do this, Lord? When Jesus said, when you've done it unto the least of these, my brother, you've done it unto me. Unto me. Amen. Amen. Praise God. This is what ministry is all about. Praise God. Hallelujah. I mean, even even the church of Jesus Christ, the glorious church of Jesus Christ, they should have an outreach, praise God, to those that are out there on the street, to those who are drug addicts, to those who are alcoholics, those who are battling homosexuality, those who are thievery. They should have a ministry to thee. Praise God. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. You understand what I'm saying? That's what being a Christian is all about. Ministering the Word of God. Reaching the people. Glory be to God. No one who wishes to be used by God as a spiritual gift is left out. You know that? Every one of you that are born again, praise God, you've got a gift. <laughs> well, tell me what my gift is. I don't know what your gift is. Praise God. You've got to seek the Lord. Amen. You've got to find out yourself what your gift is. Glory be to God. Each of you has received a gift. Some is not even on rack yet. Remember the other day I said, you get a, a package, you get it, you set it down, and you never open it. You don't know what it is, do you? You won't know what it is until you open it. Amen? Amen. Be resolved to use it to serve others. Amen? The gift that God has given you, use it to serve others. Hallelujah. Let's see how the Bible tells us how we can be used. How can we be used? Praise God. Well, I, I look back 20, 30 years ago. Praise God. I thought, geez, God, I'm ready. I've been saved. I've been born again. I'm going. I want to go to Africa. I want to go to India. I want to preach the word. I want to be a missionary. I prayed earnestly. Use me, God. I was like Isaiah. Send me, Lord. I'll go. He sent me all right. <laughs> across the Matthews Bridge into Springfield. And you that are familiar with Springfield, you know what I'm talking about. Thirteen years I would be in bed. He was in the mission field in Springfield among drug addicts, alcoholics. Our biggest battle was the homosexuality down there. They hated our guts. 